Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for December 20th of 2023 is titled Ice Halos over Bavaria. So what do we see here? Well, let's zoom in and take a look at our image today. And we'll also label a few things here so, so that you can see a little more of what's here. Now we see this is a sunset. So the sun is setting behind the church off in the distance here. And this was a very cold day, as you might guess from looking. And there was an ice fog. So fog, as we're used to, is usually water droplets suspended in the air. In this case, it is ice crystals because of the extremely cold temperatures. And it's those ice crystals that are causing all of these patterns that we see in the sky. Now, if you look, they're labeled here and down toward the bottom, we see the sun dogs. So the brighter areas on either side of the sun down just over the mountains there, one on the left and one on the right. And then as we look, we also see a horizontal arc going through them. And then we see up above, we start to see some other areas called the tangent arc. And that goes around the first halo that we see. And that is the 22 degree halo. So 22 degrees away from the sun, because of the patterns and shapes of the ice crystals, gives us that round uh, circle around the sun. Now that's not the only halo when the conditions are really good as they were here. You also get a 46 degree halo which we see a little bit farther out. And that gives us a couple of different halos around the sun in this case. Now we can also see a number of different arcs as we work upward including the uh, the tangent arc, the peri arc, the circumzenithal arc and the sub sun arc as we work our way up toward the top. Now the rarest of these is actually what is called the helic arc. And that goes up from the sub sum sun arc at the top and kind of arcs around in the shape of a hot air balloon coming back down toward the sun at the bottom. And that is caused by get these ice crystals in the sky, but they're specifically hexagonally shaped ice crystals, and we're getting reflection from the sides of them. So it requires very specific conditions to be able to get all of this and very specifically cold temperatures with those ice crystals suspended in the atmosphere. And if you get all of the conditions just right, you can see all of these. Now again, that's relatively rare, although things like the sun dogs and the uh, 22 degree halo are much more common. But to be able to see all of these takes just the right conditions to be able to get all of them to form and to be relatively well visible as we see in our image today. So that was our picture of the day for December 20th of 2023. It was titled Ice Halos over Bavaria. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.